So I used the Max a lot in cutting smaller projects and the old dinosaur PR. Just when I have something slow to cut and um, I have the other tools are tied up. But this is the real workhorse. So this is my old PRS Alpha. And I got it when I was doing the um, House of the Museum of Modern Art in New York the, um, with uh, MIT, Larry Sass and the MIT Architecture Department. Did a 600 sheet of plywood, friction fit house, New Orleans style. It was very cool. You can read about it online. There's all kinds of information. But this is the tool I use. As everything else I have, it's not current. Um, the current tools have three legs down each side instead of two. They have um, E-chain instead of this arch. But this one works great for me. I'm used to it. I know exactly what it'll do. Um, I cut at between five and six inches a second, jog at about 15, and um, it cuts great. I've had real good, good experiences with it. I've had it for a long time, and it's sort of the hammer that fits my hand. So I've got, at the moment, I'm getting ready to do a new sign for this little town I live in, and I've got an old vacuum hold down system. I'll see if I can show you without. So it uses two of the lighthouse um, industries motors, the central vacuum system blower motors, and they're just piped into a box, just sort of an accumulator box, and then just ran a regular shop vac hose up into the table in two spots. Almost everything I cut is full sheet plywood, so I have one big zone here. And I just ducked in two places just to um, spread the, I guess it's not really flow because there's no, there's no flow to it, hopefully. But it's, um, I've always been sort of torn whether you want to have all your motors going into all your zones or whether you want everything separate. If one motor goes, you don't want to have half of your table stop drawing. Um, I don't want a real complicated piping system. So this was worked for me so far. I'm not convinced that one motor isn't drawing backwards through the other motor. They aren't fighting each other. But it is the way, I, the way I've had it, and it's worked well, so I'm going to stick with it. Um, it's probably the third set of lighthouse motors I've used. After a while, they just sort of burn up their... I bleed a little bit of air in just to keep, um, keep them from being deadheaded. I've got the control box and the VFD mounted on the wall, which makes it really convenient. Um, I'm, not a, I'm not used to having them down low mounted on the tool. It's easier for me. I'm getting old and don't want to have to bend over quite as much. And I'm actually running this tool off of, an, of a beta version of FABMO, the... Um, open source operating system. So it's actually running off this Raspberry Pi. Um, Ethernet connected to my computer. I can also run it um, off my phone or anything. And I'm sort of exploring to see what the, how well it works. And so far, I've been cutting with it for six months or so on this gantry tool. And um, I'm, I'm liking it a lot. I'm running on just about everything in the shop now to test, except for the old dinosaur tool. It just doesn't, um, it's too old. Everything is just too old in it to be able to run the, the newest stuff. The control box is old. Um, so both of the motors are wired in to just a switch here on the wall. So when I want to turn the vacuum on, I just flip the switch. And it pulls the, um, it pulls the sheet down really tight. Got a, I've got a 2.2 horse HSD spindle. That's the original spindle. I haven't had to do anything to it. Next to me is, uh, next to my shop, are grain silos. And a year or so ago, lightning hit the top of them and blew out one leg of the three-phase power coming in. And it blew out, it blew out a computer here. It blew out the, uh, one of the proc switches and the spindle speed controller for the for the VFD, for the spindle. Um, so ever since then, I've just been manually zeroing the um, X and Y by pulling it up against the stops, and I know what the offset is. And I adjust the speed on the, with the buttons on the VFD, and I'm sort of used to it. And one of these days, I'll probably fix it, but I'm not in much of a hurry. And um, so anyway, this is the tool I use for just about everything. I've cut a ton of the Shelter 2.0 project. 
Um, it's it's an oldie, but it does um, it does just what I needed to do. So if it works, don't fix it. <laughs>